So you watched the first video and after liking, subscribing and talking with your grandma about how you watched the funny man do the parallax, you decided to use the code in your game. But it kind of feels like it could have more of that Nintendo polish? Well after I posted the first video I got a massive amount of help from a Discord user named Red, who basically rewrote the entire code but much better. Red's Patreon is gonna be linked in the description, gotta be 18 or older, as well as the code for this parallax effect you're seeing on the screen, Wee, look at that. If you watched the first video this one's basically the same thing but with smoother motion. Let's go through the steps. Take the code in the description, go to screen, main menu, in the screens.rpi file, paste it above, screen, main menu. Replace the add background main menu code with add track cursor parentheses quotation your first layer's image location and quotation comma 20 close parentheses. Do that for every layer you have from bottom layer to top layer and slowly decrease the number the further you go down your list of layers. And you're done. This new effect implements a smoother motion. We achieve this by having the parallax code calculate the distance between the last position of our cursor and the current one. A major improvement is the fact this new version of the parallax effect doesn't spontaneously glitch out when the mouse leaves the screen. Now, let's talk about the limitations of this effect. Due to the way RenPy draws the images onto the screen, you can expect sudden pixel-perfect movement if the layers move slow distances at a slow speed. This wasn't as clear in the previous version because that one doesn't interpolate motion based on the cursor's location. This one does. But it doesn't matter if the code tells RenPy to move a quarter of a unit, RenPy is gonna move the image one or zero units. The code also doesn't seem to like image buttons very much when your game is in full screen mode, as it tends to skip over the pixels where that image button is. The layers may also move very, very slightly out of sync. That has to do with the way the interpolation works and I haven't figured out how to fix it. If you don't want the smooth movement, but want to avoid the glitchy sudden motion when your mouse exits the screen, change these two lines of code to self.x and self.y. This way the code doesn't calculate the interpolation. Another thing I didn't tackle in the previous video is, what if instead of 1080p, you went for 720p, or even an old school square resolution like 800 by 600? Well, you're gonna have to experiment with image sizes, but remember that the lower you tweak the number on the add track cursor command, the bigger that image element has to be. If the image element has to cover the entire screen, it has to be larger than the screen to account for the extra movement it'll perform. You could manually increase the image resolution, or you could add an X zoom and Y zoom value that's higher than 1 to your track cursor statements. However, Red advised that this time, in order to save on performance, you should crop your image elements and place them manually. If you're having trouble placing the images, you can sort of get an estimate of where to place the image by opening the game, pressing Shift D, selecting Image Location Picker, searching for your menu background, and hovering on the area you want the image element to be in. There will be numbers on the bottom left corner indicating what's the cursor's current location on the image. You might be wondering if this effect in particular would work in the actual RenPy game and, from what I tried, the layer's position suddenly jump back to the center of the screen with every new line of dialogue. So this effect wouldn't work. I'll f***ing hammer your mother! Stop it! However, there are tutor- <laughs> However, there are tutorials out there for an in-game parallax effect. Thank you once again to Red, their Patreon will be in the description, uh, remember you have to be 18 years or older to check their Patreon, and uh, I hope this was helpful in any way. Now feel free to post in the comments, which topic do you want to get a video about next? Maybe using a video as the RenPy menu background? Maybe layered image characters versus live composite characters? Or making anime backgrounds using Blender? Feel free to subscribe if you like a random content apparently because heck one week you get a speed paint the other you get a tutorial what's the point of youtube anyways i got like fourteen thousand views on a 10 second video for no reason